I'm Liz Bishop. We begin with that breaking news out of the state capitol. Assemblyman Vito Lopez announcing just within the past 10 minutes that he will resign. Lopez has been under fire for months amid allegations of sexual harassment. And Speaker Sheldon Silver called on lawmakers to expel the assemblyman just last night. Pat Bailey joins us live now in Boston Spa, where an event just wrapped up with Assemblyman Jim Tedisco, who was talking about the controversy. And Pat, all this breaking in the last few minutes and the story completely changed now. Did completely change, Liz. That's right. In fact, I just informed the assemblyman a short time ago before he left this event here in Boston Spa that Vito Lopez has announced he will resign. And Assemblyman Jim Tedisco did not seem surprised by that. Details of the resignation. Vito Lopez saying he will resign effective January 20th. That is the end of the legislative session here in Albany. Now, of course, it is a two-year term. This is the first year of the two-year term. And Lopez is running for New York City Councilman. So he says that he will continue to do that but resign his position here in Albany. And I just got a statement a short time ago from Lopez. I'll read it to you. It says, I am gratified that the Staten Island District Attorney, now that was the special prosecutor brought in to handle this case, Dan Donovan has concluded after extensive investigation that there, are, there is no basis for bringing criminal charges against me. I have maintained my innocence throughout the matter, and I believe the criminal investigation should never have been conducted. It goes on to say, I've made no secret that I intend to run for mayor of New York City Council in November, which requires to me resign my current position. Nevertheless, because of the citizens in my district voted me back into my office overwhelmingly, I feel obligated to serve this session out in the assembly. Therefore, I announce my resignation June 20th, 2013, the last day of the legislative session. Now, a couple questions come into mind here. Number one, Liz, a lot of people calling for Vito Lopez to resign. We just got that information. But the second thing was, if he wasn't going to resign, to accept expel him. Now he's saying he will resign, but not till the end of the legislative session. So the question will be, will he last that long? Will the Ethics Committee take a look into expelling Vito Lopez? And uh, will other members in the Assembly push for the Ethics Committee to do that, Liz? So again, a lot of uh, breaking news just in the last 10 minutes or so surrounding this Vito Lopez case. And, and also, Pat, and I know you're in Boston Spa and probably don't have an answer, maybe there is no answer out there just yet, is what kind of impact this will have on Sheldon Silver, who himself has become embroiled Broiled in this controversy because of the way he apparently handled the whole situation once he knew about it. Yeah, we know from the Jacob uh, report that Sheldon Silver knew of the first two victims. There were four total alleged victims in the Vito Lopez scandal. Uh, according to the report, Sheldon Silver, the Assembly Speaker, knew of the first two but did nothing about it and allowed Vito Lopez to hire the next two staffers who were also claiming criminal or uh, sexual harassment uh, claims against the Assemblyman. So he has certainly come under fire for the way that he handled it. And then, of course, there was that $103,000 payment to two of the alleged victims. So he has certainly come under fire. The governor was asked yesterday if uh, the Speaker should should resign. He did not comment. He went in the middle of the road saying, I do not elect, uh, I'm not part of the election process as to who the speaker is in the assembly. So he is certainly under fire. I've talked to several uh, Democrats in the assembly who did not want to go on camera and touch the topic, basically, for lack of a better term. But I am speaking with one coming up later this afternoon. I'll certainly have his reactions coming up tonight at 5 and 6 o'clock. But as you can imagine, members on the uh, Republican side of the assembly calling for the speaker to step down. And if not, he too, they're saying, should be looked at if possibly being expelled. Well, it's uh, certainly an interesting day ahead for you and uh, for a lot of those lawmakers. We'll find out what it brings at the end of the day, and we'll look forward to your report later tonight. Pat Bailey, thanks.